Hi everyone. So finally got my uh, replacement screen in for this handheld Pi device. Um, actually need to come up with a good name for it. So maybe post some suggestions. Um, but here we go. I've got the screen in and uh, got everything loaded up using uh, RetroPie version 4 at the moment. Um, so we can see that this is my 3D printed version, which um, didn't print very flat. It's pretty warped, um, but and I've only got two screws in at the moment. So when the other screws in, it sits a lot closer. But when it's been printed properly, um, I'm sure the print will be a lot better quality and it will actually sit flush like the uh, PLA one that I've got. So yeah, this ABS one warped quite a bit. So anyway, here we go. So we've got a uh, power switch on the top. And this is the 3.2 inch Geekroo screen. Um, it's a really nice screen. And thank you for uh, sending the replacement one over so quickly. Um, so like I say, this is RetroPie version 4, the latest one. Um, it's already been set up, so um, shouldn't take too long to boot up. And yes, I do still have the screen protector on this one. It literally arrived about an hour ago. Uh, I was eager to get it in, get it working. And I'm also aware that the start and select are the wrong way around. And on the case that I've had printed, it's actually the correct way. So here we go. I need to do some tweaking. Um, on the position of the rubber inside the pads because they're working but they're not working as nicely as I would like but I'm sure it's just getting them in the right position shouldn't be too difficult so here we go you can see it's not working quite as nicely as I would like. So I've been doing all my testing on Nintendo Donkey Kong. Um, so in this configuration with this Panasonic cell, it runs for about four hours on Donkey Kong if I just leave the demo, just cycling around. So it's like the sound's come back. Let's just uh, quit back to the menu. So it looks like the sound defaults to 77%. See, when you're holding the buttons down, they're working really well. But if you're doing like a quick press of the buttons, the uh, the right button just seems a bit laggy. But I'm sure it's just the positions. And I can get them in a better place. Okay, so as you can see, it's working really nice. The screen's a nice screen. Um, So everything else is as you would expect. Um, we can shut down and then just switch off. So there we go. That's my uh, 
handheld gaming system. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it. I'm going to be doing um, some resin cast kits. Hopefully, I have um, <clears throat> some joysticks coming in. I'm looking at getting some screens. Um, so you can buy just the case, or you can buy all the parts. Um, I'm not sure what platform I'm going to put it on. So um, we'll see. But let's get everything in and get everything working first. So, like I say, thanks for watching.